EcoFlow have recently announced their new lineup of Delta II products, which will hopefully be an improvement on the original Delta line, uh, otherwise kind of what's the point? Assuming they continue to sell the original iteration, we could see some good price reductions over the coming few months. So today I'm talking specifically about the Delta Max 2 kilowatt hour battery. Many of the points I discuss, however, will probably apply to the whole Delta range from the Delta Mini right up to the whoppingly powerful Delta Pro. Armed. The Delta Max offers an extraordinary 2016 watt hours of power storage provided by over 200 18650 cells wired in both parallel and series. You can double or triple the storage of the unit with use, using uh, additional batteries which attach to the side. The power provision on this unit is really quite remarkable, but the connect connectivity is also pretty impressive too. The device has four AC outlets which can provide up to 2,400 watts of mains out in total. That's the UK version I'm talking about here. 3,000 watts in X-Boost mode which allows a small voltage reduction for non-voltage sensitive appliances and a short surge figure even of 4,600 watts to cope with maybe uh, motors, for example, that have short-lived high drain when they sort of first start up. It also has a 12 volt, 10.5 amp car socket, two 12.6 volt, 3 amp, 5521 DC sockets, two USB-A 18 watt fast charge sockets, two USB-A 12 watt ports, and two USB-C 100 watt power delivery ports for any kind of USB device, or in fact a laptop or anything that supports power delivery. Input wise, you have uh, AC power via an IEC mains lead, which is basically a kettle lead for anyone in the UK. And uh, that can suck up an enormous two kilowatts of power for incredibly fast charging. Equally impressive is the 800 watts solar input, which although limited to 13 amps, supports up to 100 volts. This high voltage support means you can run multiple solar panels in series and remain within current and voltage limitations. The Delta Max also has an onboard MPPT solar controller, so you can use either a portable solar panel, so the kind of thing you might use when camping, and that would have its own onboard controller too, uh, or you can just use a basic off-the-shelf solar panel, so the kind of thing you might see on top of a, on top of a building. You can doesn't matter which one you use, either will work fine, as the built-in controller on the uh, Delta Max will sort the power as needed. You can also charge the unit from a standard DC input, whether that be 12 volts or 24 volts, so you can happily charge from a car, from a truck, or any kind of other DC supply. This massive I.O. choice makes this one of the best power stations on the market. Bundle this with a beautiful design, really good build quality, an extremely useful app, and you have a very tempting package. I love the unit and I use it daily at the moment to power everything here in my studio and also all my working from home requirements. So, what's wrong with it? It's loud. Really loud. It has three fan settings. Off, plain taxiing, and plain taking off. I mean, that's okay, because this thing is shifting a lot of power around, and that's going to generate some heat. Power inverters or AC inverters, mains inverters are notoriously heavy on cooling requirements, but the problem is that fan off mode is just hardly ever used. Take your mains output over roughly 80 watts and the fan's going to come on. Any fairly modest DC output and the fan's going to come on as well. Charge this unit at anything from 80 to 100 watts or higher and the fan's just gonna be on constantly. If you've got a sunny day, solar charging will just have the fan on continuously, so you won't be charging this in any kind of piece. Now, if you're just gonna be using this on a construction site or with tools, that kind of thing, then it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if you've got a little bit of extra noise in the background. But if you wanna use this on a campsite at nighttime or maybe with a CPAP machine when you're trying to sleep, I don't think oxygen deprived sleep will be a concern for you because you won't be getting any sleep at all with this thing running in the background. What the Delta Max needs is a low power profile. Give me an option to set this up as a low output, high storage device. Because 
Like, let's take the Anker Powerhouse 2 400, for example. It is a tiny baby compared to this thing, but it is silent. Surely you can achieve this in software somehow. Take all the inputs and outputs, cap them at a couple of hundred watts, disable the mains inverter if you like, but I would find that really useful if you could then ensure that the fans would not come on. I may be wrong here, but I recall a marketing picture somewhere where there's a, a girl on a, on a film set, so using a Delta Max on a film set. I really doubt you're gonna be able to use something like this in any kind of audio recording environment, but who am I to say? The solar input doesn't support low power, at least it doesn't for me. I'm not sure if this is because the way I've got my solar panels wired currently means that my voltage is actually quite low. It might improve if I could sort of bump up the voltage and get a little bit more power through to the uh, to the controller on board. But at the moment, I can't get uh, the Delta Max to accept anything less than 28 watts. And that's a concern for me because we're approaching winter now here in the Northern Hemisphere. And it's all very well when we've got sunny days here in August and September. But when we approach winter, 20 watts for six hours in a day might be nice to have, even just 10 watts for six hours of a day might be nice to have because that could satisfy my power requirements for working at home. At the moment though, the Delta Max will just shut off solar input when it, goes, when it drops below about 30 watts. Don't know why. You can't leave solar panels connected if they're not generating power. Maybe this is standard across all sort of batteries like this, I'm not too sure, but what I like to do is leave it hooked up if I'm going out, say, to the office the following day. Just leave it hooked up and then it can start taking in power when the sun comes up and then hopefully it will be charged or partially charged by the time I get home. But unfortunately, the unit, unit seems to enter this kind of constant loop of relay clicks and just continuously tries to find power when there's nothing coming in. I contacted EcoFlow support about this to see if it was a fault and they just said, don't do it because this... Uh, this type of use will cause a continuous drain on the cells, which you shouldn't have, and it just wasn't designed to work like this, which is a shame. Number four. So far, I've found the battery calibration to be complete and utter poo. The time remaining estimates are way off out of the box. And I've had this unit happily power a 200 watt heater for five hours after claiming it had four minutes of battery remaining. Calibrating the unit is done by a full discharge, a full recharge, and a full discharge again, which probably does help, not too sure yet, because I only did that fairly recently, but it is a waste of energy and a waste of time. And I'm worried about how often I might have to do this calibration, or maybe I'll have to do it every single time I update firmware. I'm just not sure. Speaking of firmware updates, the fact that EcoFlow products can be tweaked in software through an update is great, but it brings us back to one other little pet hate of mine. Many of the functions and features of the Delta Max are entirely reliant on the app. So we're reliant on it being supported, being updated, and let's be honest, EcoFlow and no Google here. So who knows if they'll be around in five years? Hopefully they will, there's no reason they won't, but you just don't know. Don't get me wrong, the app is absolutely amazing and is way, way more useful than I ever thought it would be. But without it, there's just so much you can't do. This, on a product that's designed for people to be off-grid and also for a tool that costs £2,000, absolutely insane. Number six, lithium-ion cells. Now, I know some of you would probably put this up put this higher up the list, but I'm a realist when it comes to this sort of stuff. Would I prefer this to be a lithium iron phosphate device? Definitely. And we already know that EcoFlow have moved to this chemistry in the, uh, in the new range. But the 800 cycle life on this will do me just fine for years. Don't forget what a battery cycle is. One cycle is putting the whole capacity of the cells back in. It doesn't matter whether you do that over multiple charges, or maybe five separate charges or 10 separate charges. It doesn't really make any difference. It's putting all that power back into the cell. So I estimate, based on my usage so far, that this will last me, these 800 cycles will last me 15 years of use. And that's only dropping down to 80% 
of useful capacity. I just don't see it as a problem. Yes, I know there are other safety implications and lithium iron phosphate is the way to go. But don't get too hung up on it. We use this type of battery everywhere and every day and given a good product design, which I feel this is, I think everything will be fine. This one is more of a nice to have than a bad point. With the four AC outlets, it would be, I, I would find it useful if they were individually switchable via the app. I use this as the main power source for a lot of low power devices and it'd be nice to have the ability to switch off maybe my video equipment during my day job without having to physically unplug something. I know my use maybe isn't typical for a lot of people and this won't bother many of you, but the excellent IO on this device just makes me wanna do more with it. The extra batteries are way overpriced. Let's be honest, the Delta Max is overpriced. It's expensive at £2,000, but it's the market rate for this kind of spec. So if people are willing to pay it, that feels fair, I suppose. But at £1,500 just to double the capacity, the expansion, expansion batteries just feel too much. Unless your need is very specifically lots of power storage, but in a scenario where you can't touch the device and you just all you need all that storage plumbed into one interface, then you might as well just buy a completely different unit. Then you would double your outputs and you can charge one while having the other one in use. That ability to rotate is incredibly useful and I already have a couple of sort of smaller power stations and the fact that I can just sort of put one on charge while using the other is just incredibly handy. Logically, it would make sense to buy another EcoFlow product, maybe a Delta Max at 1600 watt hours or even just a Delta Mini. But then I kind of feel like you'd just be throwing more money at EcoFlow despite their decision to charge a ridiculous price for a basic accessory. Oh, just on a side note, on a similar subject, have you seen the price of the five meter expansion battery extension cable? It sells on Hampshire uh, generators for 150 pounds. Crazy stuff. So there you go. There are my thoughts on the original EcoFlow Delta range. They are solid performers with great storage and even better output capabilities. The unit is heavy, but it's well designed and easy to carry and operate. The screen is bright, the information is clear, it's informative, and most of the operation is through physical buttons with a definite click and nice, clear, audible feedback. All the ports feel solid as well, something that can't be said for all powerhouses out there. And th the whole device just feels solid and well made. It's an expensive offering, but it also looks expensive and has the build quality to go with the price tag. If you can tolerate the bad points that I've talked, to, talked about today, you're going to love the Delta Max. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon and put anything down in the comments that you feel I've been unfair about here or any other points that you feel might uh, be useful for other people watching this video.